Hello beautifuls, welcome back to my Chanel. Oh, look who's with me today. 1997's best dressed female actress, Rayleigh. <laughs> oh, she I was, won the Oscar. I was actually 2001's best dressed. <laughs> my goodness, yes, it must be that many layered wig you were wearing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talking about many layers, welcome back to the hateful mid 2000s. <laughs> <That> actually, <laughs> I was that actually was on good. this show. Yeah. <laughs> you were Trini, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Trini before the transition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're actually taking it all the way back to I think this is 2002, so it's not even mid 2000s. It's like just out of the 90s, just past the millennium. Yep. I was gonna say the millennium dome. The millennium bug. The millennium bug. Yes, that's it. Yeah, do you remember that? That was a scandal, wasn't it? Then remember. your computer's off, girls. Oh, you're going to die. So today we are going to be watching What Not to Wear UK, featuring Trini Girl and Susanna. I believe this is season two, episode one, and this is as far back as I can get. <laughs> the millennium bug. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, my lovely. So so without any further ado, let's get on to some hateful fashion, shall we? I wonder if we'll see an evening chiffon. And a uh, daytime... <laughs> <laughs> Whatever their age, shape oh, or size, she is. the trick oh. is knowing what does and doesn't suit you. Your oh. friends and family won't hurt your feelings by telling you the harsh truth. They're all but demons. we're not your friends and family, and we will. Oh, oh my God! God. Yeah. Horrible we are not say. your friends and family, so we're gonna beat, beat you, beat! <laughs> Hateful print. <laughs> so Santa, I love her like the Karen hairstyle haircut was a huge thing back then. It as well. was, wasn't it? But it was never seen as the Karen haircut. I think that's because all these people have now grown up into Karen. Yeah, they're like, yeah. stop it. Why are they just like hit breast, my breast, breast? My mummy has got breasts. That was where this came from. Yeah, yeah. believe it. Why not to wear this week is Sandy Traveller. She's 47, a creative writing teacher, horse lover, and published writer oh, herself. She's a horse girl. Her that horse girl. Horse woman. Happy she does have rather but pronounced chest. But as she well knows, chest. real life isn't quite so forgiving. Sandy doesn't know it, but we've been following her every move we've for a month. We've been stalking. Yeah, yeah stalking her again. Who give staggeringly harsh advice. They're style journalists. Oh. Oh, me look. <laughs> Sorry, a style journalist. Journalist? I write about my evening chiffon in a daytime tweed. I said it the wrong way round. Oh, I'm sacked. Uh, Cancelled. Your Daily Mail position is ended. <laughs> <laughs> look at this picture. Uh, uh, she's like, lime green yeah. on a Tuesday. Uh, how dare you? Look at Disgusting. No, she must have a mirror in the house. Sand is proud of showing off her natural assets. She thinks she's got double Good. E cups. But what? we know we can do much more for her, and so do her best friends. I love her shoulders. That's why she's been nominated to receive our treatment. Actually, can I just... Nominated, yeah, that's a stretch of a word, nominated. Punished, more like. I must actually say, uh, her style kind of reminds me of like what everyone's going for now, this kind of like vintage retro chic, yep. with like big shoulders, yep. a turtleneck and stuff. Yep. Like, this is an obscene, I'm not like... <laughs> I think Sandy is very much stuck in a rut at the moment. Uh, friend. Very much is, that, is that your name? Room. Yeah, friend. Pads, too many bright colours going on in one outfit very very 80s she did what's wrong with the 80s school once and i was Daughter. Asked, but don't tell her that because she'll probably be upset i think she just wears everything too tight Friend you know, her leggings too tight her skirts too tight her shoes too tight underwear bras uh, even how have you seen her underwear bras oh i don't want to be mean but the mullet hairstyle it is an okay, I'm gonna say she does have a particularly interesting hair. Yeah, I d I'm not a fan of the hair. I will I will give the beasts that. Yeah. But this idea of wearing like a deeper red and an orange jacket, like granted the jacket could be a bit more tailored, but that's not I don't look at this and go, you, this is disgusting. No. Foul woman get in the prison. Why aren't you making it to the pageant? Ooh. Oh. Oh. Arrest the, the woman. woman. Uh, yeah, uh, this hairstyle is very um it kind of reminds me a bit of like 1970s slash eighties like game show host hair. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We Wheel of Fortune! Yeah. Wheel of Fortune! Yeah. Well, it isn't it? I want to get the scissors out now. But you can do that to you, Trini. What it is, is in trousers like that, that are very high-waisted, it makes her bum look flat. Yeah, and, and very long. That suit is pure 80s. Look at the shoulder pads on it, for mm. God's sake. You know how people... Um, hold on to an era they felt most beautiful. I no, I'm sorry, but that outfit is actually quite nice. If the hair was fixed, it would be perfect. Yeah, if she had, actually, this is probably the one time in the history of time that I'm ever going to agree with you and be like, more layers would look nice because it could kind of look a bit like, you know, like the modern wolf cut that we currently yeah. got going on. And this blonde would actually be quite nice. And this hot pink jacket is not hateful with like, this is called a pussy bow. 
a pussy bow, pussy bow a girl. daytime tweed, and an evening pussy bow. I actually quite like it. I don't think that's hateful. I wonder if in the early 80s she felt that was her peak. Because mm. lots of people do that. Yeah, yeah you peaked before you were born, Trini. Our team asked Sandy where she finds her distinctive look. I like warehouse principles. I like principles. She's a hungry woman. I like t-shirts and jeans and stuff. I just go and BHS. Just like the baby I'm never shopping at BHS again. I can't believe we've heard BHS. BHS! I'm never not going to be here again! This is all acceptable, you've mugged me, girls! I can't believe all this! You've mugged me, girls! Mainly, um, High Street. I don't shop from catalogues or anything like that. What's the difference between a catalogue and a High Street? Mm -hmm. She looks like... It's not a joke. No, it's a joke. Where's the punchline? Above her stomach and then her tits. The thing is, if you lift the tits, you lift the tummy. Yeah, you iron it out. You'd flatten... If you lift the tits, you lift the tummy, don't you? Yeah, iron it out. I mean, <laughs> if you use xenomorph, it's gonna happen. The, the camera won't pick that up, but my belly just went. <laughs> Dr. Jim Brow lived and his tummy tuck is too much. Because yeah. that's what I look like. I mean, if I was sitting at my dressing table, we did slouched sit. over, and the camera came up, I'd be like that. Yeah. She's literally so you're, sitting you're, you're, at a dressing table. Like, so why are you like, why aren't you the most stylish woman we've ever seen? What I don't understand is that they just said, oh, she looks awful. Do you need to be lifting the tips up to lift up her stomach? Iron her out. Same, in the same breath going, yeah, I look, I look the exact like that. same. Yeah, I look like that. I look like that. That sounds like self-hatred and misogyny, realistically. <laughs> Also, look at this. Can we just look at this room briefly? This is... What is all these, like, boxes? Yeah, it's like... got all these, like, um, these really, like, do you remember, like, Ikea garage storage boxes where they're like, keep your nuts and screws, girl. We've got a, a bookshelf over here with, like... A daytime tweed. It's, they've been to a Tupperware party. The couch has got a daytime tweed on. Yep. Getting a good bra will take pounds off her. And getting her in clothing that is tailored... So that she feels like the corporate woman she's struggling to be in all her ages. She, yeah. she, she said, said I want to be a corporate woman. Soft mm. shapes, because I think everything is very harsh. Basically, we're dealing with a virgin. Sorry, did she just say, I want to dress her in soft shapes? Nothing about the corporate world to me is it's soft, soft shapes. Yeah. Soft shapes. Like, she looks more interesting. If I was in a business meeting and I was creating my cosmetics line and I'd be like, oh, I need to speak to someone who knows colour or something. Do you think I'm going to look at all of the men in the same black suit with white tie or whatever it is that they wear? I don't know. I don't look at men very often. Or this woman that's like bright pink with a pussy bow tie. I'd be like, you th I think you might know a thing or two about colour, madam. Let's yeah. have a chat. In terms of style. <laughs> I don't want Look at that, say something belt! Why is like all the audio in these shows so oh, it's awful, isn't it? Completely revamp her entire wardrobe. But first, she'll have to listen we'll to... We'll have to commit to it. No. <laughs> a strict set of rules before she's allowed to spend a penny of it. Oh, for God's sake. Well, just buy it for her, then. The rules are going to be like, we're going to beat you, beat! Class, blissfully unaware of what's about to happen. Oh. Did you see? Did you see the number plate of that car? TS1. Yep. TS Madison is shaking. They are <laughs> on the run. <laughs> we're looking for a sheenus. <laughs> How is the audio awful? And, Trini, and we're from BBC's What Not To Wear. Huh? <laughs> this is a parent. <laughs> this is so Look at that man with his handicap. Awful. filming you for a month. Yes. <laughs> that would make me so scared. Yeah. Imagine if I just burst into your place of work and was like, Hello, I've been filming you for a month. Look at the state of that. Nobody wanted to marry you. This must be so embarrassing to be like, we're coming here because you look shit. Yeah. Literally. We're going to, in front of all of your colleagues, we're going to give you a makeover because all of them have said you look shit. Yeah. Your best friend and daughter have gotten together and sent us a letter and what we've done is ambushed you. So, but also what's wrong with this outfit? A nice white top with a red cardigan in a school is actually, actually quite appropriate. Thing, she, yeah, what she's wearing now now isn't hateful at all. It's very appropriate. She's yeah. In a, is this like a parents meeting or teachers conference teachers or something? Conference, yeah. By Mika and Claire, your best, dearest friends. Mika right. and Claire. Not, okay. not friends anymore. Somebody no. Whose style is in need of Look how like worried she is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy, yeah. here yeah. is a check for two thousand pounds yeah. for you to spend on yourself, on clothes and terrifying. clothes alone. <laughs> My heart kind of goes out for her a little bit. She yeah, sounds very sweet. There's something attached to it. Yeah. You've got to hand over your body and your wardrobe. And your soul! Pretty harsh advice from us two. Okay, what now? Yeah. <laughs> Start what now? 
<laughs> if they asked me that, I'd be like, I'm sorry, Susan. No, what's her name? Susanna. I'm Susanna. sorry, Susanna. You need to go now. But Trini looks like a sofa. They do. They look like sofa swatches. They are dressed like sofa swatches. <laughs> Upholstery hoops. I don't know that one. Oh. Her hair doesn't look anywhere near as, as bizarre as it did in the first shot no. here. This is much better. There's a lot more like activity. Yep. <laughs> Later that evening, Sandy's video diary. She's going to get her bejangles yeah. out, isn't she? Scared, nervous. This program is about changing the way I look. And she's got a bit like 60s like going on. Yeah. Because I've looked like this for as long as I can remember, which is why all my friends say I'm stuck in a time warp. But all your friends are hateful. Oh, hey, is this her wardrobe? To our office with her entire wardrobe oh, to view the secret cold. for yeah. such Yeah, our entire wardrobe. Oh. So, Sandy, how are you feeling? Um. I'm not nervous, but I'm, I'm I feel Frightened. a little defensive at the moment. Yeah, this is in your, yeah. an ambush. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, okay. okay. All right, let's go. Okay. What are you doing filming me in my knickers? So That's unacceptable. Yeah, this was on the BBC. What? That's assault. This is beyond the cow. <laughs> Showing me in my knickers. Yeah. Can, Can you stop saying knickers? that, please, madam? Um, well, I, I tend to buy my knickers from a pound shop where mm -hmm. you, you get three pairs for a pound. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Tell us where she's got great boots. She does, doesn't she? Yeah, very busy. Mummy's got breasts. Mummy's got breasts. I love Abba. I absolutely adored Agneta. I just can't see what she's wearing there to be hateful. No, me neither. I have I would not look at this woman and think what you're wearing is unfashionable. I would think actually she has an idea of the way that she looks, which is of the way that she wants to look, which is a lot more than I can say for a lot of people. A lot of people do just you know, pick out anything they want because that's what they want to do. Yeah. But this woman seems like she thinks about like structure, thinks about pattern, thinks about colour yeah. and enjoys it. Like she's wearing this like green turtleneck here that's got like sleeveless. You don't automatically go for something like this if you don't know anything about what you like about colour or shape. Yeah, yeah. And the blue. This is a Friday night going out with my dear two friends. This is a fancy so, dress party you're going uh, to. Oh. <laughs> what a rude thing to say. Trini, in that outfit, you might be going to a fancy dress party. Yeah, you're going as the dead. She looks like a rug. She does, yes. She is the flying carpet. Hey, do you think you look... I mean, how do you think I, you look? I, how do you think I you look? Nice. I thought I looked gorgeous. I, I, I thought I looked good. Well. Yes, good. And now, um, what do you think? I, I think I look... Seriously hideous. No, See, no, no, she, they, no, they they goaded her into that. Yeah, that that wasn't an honest response then. She like that that yeah. So, she I, yeah. felt peer pressured into saying that she looked yeah. bad so that the show could be like, yeah, yeah, now we're gonna turn you into a gorgeous woman of the night. Hateful. I also quite like this bizarre little like it's almost a little bit Victorian style. Yeah. A little bit like Lady of the Manor. I quite like that. Very in now. That's horrible. You're not showing that. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It's I mean it is rather loud, but it's not like horrible. Somebody's heard it. Oh, that was one of your favourite outfits. That is one of my favourite. I look like a grandmother in Red Riding Hood. Are yeah. you inspired by everything to do with the 80s? I think the 80s was my happiest decade. Okay. Oh, they're like, yeah, 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 we said it, we said it. They might have filmed that after they've done this with her. That's true, actually, they could have, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, which yeah. then they're like, see, we told you, yeah. we're, we're clairvoyant yeah. girls. Mary loves dick. Cold reading. Best stage. Mary loves dick. Best. So when I wear an outfit like that, oh, and I look in the mirror, I still see me how I was 20 years ago. Yeah. The thing is, the thing is, as you'll know this, because you work on camera constantly, you feel, when you look down at your outfits and you see them in mirrors, you feel very different to when you see them on camera. Yeah. And there are certain things that you can do and, can, and can't do on camera that you'll be like, oh my God, did I actually look like that? Yeah, Sometimes sure. I wear an eye look and in, in real life, I'm like, I am the most gorgeous. As soon as I step in front of my camera, I'm like, who is this hateful woman invited yeah. into my house? <sighs> The trousers are just going. I mean, I don't like those trousers. I wouldn't know. Everything's kind of punching up around yeah. your bum, making yeah. your bum look much bigger than it actually is. But her friend yeah. earlier was like, she wears things that are too tight. I have you seen exactly. Where was the thing that was where, too tight? Where's the too tight? I haven't seen anything too tight yet. Got a fantastic bottom. So thank you. She loves bottoms, doesn't she, Susan? Can we just talk about polar necks too? Because you always yeah. wear polar necks. Yeah. Power. Why? Um, I've got. Uh, 
um, a thing about showing off cleavage. It's, okay. it's kind of rude, mm. rude. Do you think so, I look rude? Yes. I think you look lovely, but mm. if, if I was sitting there wearing that, I would feel terribly uncomfortable. Yeah. I, I love be, that. I, Do you think I look rude? And she has to be like, she, she can't possibly say n- yes to yeah. like this celebrity style journalist on TV on the BBC. The thing but is, clearly she wants to be like, I wouldn't know. I, I don't think. The thing is, like her parts of her body is completely up to how she wants to show them. Like, exactly. To, like it's very different to say like, oh, this might suit your figure differently to say you must show your breasts yeah, yeah like yeah. there's a huge difference with that like, these trousers fit you nicely yeah. instead of saying why are you not showing your cleavage yeah. why because... aren't you like this to all them yes. men that's a very strange thing to be like to pick her apart on yes very strange very strange I feel like it's a little bit it's very telling of the time where it's just like if you were in sort of like a boardroom filled with all women there would be no need for you to be like I dress with my cleavage out do you know what yeah. I mean you're not doing it to impress this, this show feels like it's almost produced slightly for the male gaze and not like the male gays, yeah. but like the male gays. The male gays! Gays, girl! They love a cleavage. Well, it's true, they do. I tell you, the thing is, by wearing something up here... Yes. You, you're just giving yourself a third chin. That's you... not correct. That what the most... Not what the... Uh, sh- shut up! Shit on! I don't agree with Susanna here, because I love a high neck. I actually feel like when you wear a high neck, it is making a statement of like, don't look at anything else I have to offer except my face. So this is, the, you know, like Elizabeth Holmes in Theranos, when she was just constantly like, had her hair tucked into her thing. It gives an illusion of like, power, corporate. So I completely understand that in a school, if she doesn't want to show her cleavage off, because she's already got pretty big breasts as it is, she she doesn't want to add all that extra nonsense because yeah. in a school environment that must be hateful. Yeah. But separate it. I'm divorced, divorced now. Yes. And yes. how much longer do you think you're going to wear these for? The wedding ring, I actually took it off and stopped wearing it when the marriage fell apart. And since the divorce, I've started wearing it again. I think it gives me a sort of protection in a way. Whether I'm going to be able to take them off, I don't know. At the moment, I. Kind What's this got to do with it? anything? This is, that's an unacceptable conversation to be having on TV. Like this is. We're a, here to give you a was... style makeover. What's why? And what about your divorce? Yeah, no, unacceptable. Really deranged. Oh, they love it. She I had to say something about on. Uh, Susanna had it on earlier. Actually, physically sick. That uh, um, that that's really how I look. Complete strangers. What is? Why have they just pulled her into this corner and been like, "There's a beam of light on you and a light yeah, switch. What yeah, lovely framing yeah. for this shot." Can you see the rainbow reflection in my dick? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quickly, next to this dirty bottle. Is, is going to be watching the program. And oh, saying, Sandy, this is awful. Look at that fat middle-aged woman. No! no. She looks like the girl in Abba. Isn't she sad? And yeah. Did you see her look up there? beyond the camera as if there's someone behind her like feeding into like and what do you think this makes you think about ABBA what yeah. do you think your friends are going to say about you like no one would just sit in front of a camera and be like my icon that I've really liked for a, lo- for a long time and influenced my style actually it's awful and the thing is as well the only reason like if she was to see this footage just on her own like without any of the context of what it is she would never say all the stuff about yeah, herself I think she's it's been only fed. because they have been like you look disgusting it's very predatory awful I'm a bit sad Oh. I love Time to look blue, at Sandy's blue wardrobe, look. so we can My check out what not head. to wear. Right. Well, a butterfly clip on the back Sandy, of your head for one. the first prize for the most <gasps> truly entertaining... Trini's outfit! What is that? Is that a watch print? The pocket <gasps> watch... The pocket watch... The pocket watch Expressos! Yeah. An evening pocket watch! ...wardrobe we've had on the show so far. It could be like yeah. I'm going into a vintage shop. Yeah. And I'm saying, you know, 60s, 70s, 80s... And what's wrong with that? That's so in now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's all there. I like... To have them in my wardrobe. I mean, case. She wants to go to BHS. Yeah. Oh my god! 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 That's nice. I wear that a lot. My fluffy jumper. How do you wear it? What do you wear it with? So, um, sort of with anything, really. Jeans. Yeah. Um, mm. Down the stables. It's very warm. Mm. Down and, the stables. Um, the down the stables. That sounds like a euphemism, doesn't it? Yeah. I like to wear oh, jeans down, down the stables. stables. This is feel you're more like them in it. Yeah. Now there's a vast number. Do horses feel like you're more like them in it? That is such a hot. A, have you ever seen a fluffy horse? The thing is, the thing is, as far so like we're gonna be, we're not your friends. We'll tell you the harsh truth. There's a difference between like, saying the harsh truth and just making and just comments like that, being like, a like, like a horse. Yeah. Like, yes, that's, that's not. <laughs> how is that helpful in any way, shape, or form? Do the horses like you more because they think you're one of them? Like it's well, not... Trini, if you take your long head down there, maybe you'll make a friend. Yes, bolero jackets. All right. I love bolero jackets. Yes. Listen, bolero jackets are so wrong for people. With big bosoms. Are they really? Yeah. Because Why? again, all you're doing, you're covering up this area and, and bringing the eye yeah. all 
to mm. those bosoms which she's mm. bringing the outside in the what they need to do then is get her a sports bra the thing is she's just contradicting herself again she's like all it's doing is bringing all the attention to your breasts and the conversation before why are you not why, showing your breasts yeah why don't you ever show your breasts <laughs> this is exactly so in the first episode we watched of this it's exactly the same they say something and then eight seconds later say the complete opposite I don't want to show so I yeah. really think we need to go into Three, the wardrobe. One, Look, two. all the Bolero jackets okay. have to go. Okay, bin it. Yeah, yeah. bin it. Good no, girl. Good girl. I like yes. them. Yeah, bin it. This one. Especially if they're one. actually from oh, the eighties. Treasure. <laughs> oh, I love that dress. Oh. I absolutely loved it. There is nothing there yeah. that does anything for you. I can imagine. Yeah, in fact, Trini and Susanna. Thing I don't want. There's not one single thing that I can see on here that can be salvaged. There's not one thing that you think. I could keep. No. So yeah. should we just sort of, you oh, know? Oh, she loved that. Just, no. Yeah, we, we, we are actually awful. just gonna, just gonna, just gonna take it <gasps> all away. The, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we are. Oh, They're doing this on purpose no, just to make TV. Not, They're doing. I'm sorry. She has the audacity to say to say about dressing whilst literally wearing a chiffon top with like blue printing, and you can see her. I was gonna say wife beater. That's not what it is, is it? <laughs> <laughs> this is like her white tank top underneath. Disgraceful. The way that she's they're treating this woman is unacceptable. Just be like, well, say goodbye to all your stuff, bitch, because we've decided you don't want it. Literally. The, the fact at the beginning that they said, um, they said, when you've got a big chest, blah. And they were like, a good bra makes a big difference. So why don't you just be like, okay, try this bra, and then we'll try a few pieces on that you like, yeah. and we'll take the colours and the prints that you like, and maybe transfer it into something that can be a bit more refined for what you want. Nothing. There's no consulting. It's just, you're disgusting, yeah. aren't you? Look yeah. at all this. We're going to put it all in the bin. Look, watch us. <laughs> Yeah, because they are all per just tell us, are they all pearl necks? Yeah, all pearl necks. Yeah, okay, that's fine, yeah. that's fine. Oh. How much money they would have just thrown away that she would have ridiculous? Just the stables. Can you open the door, Sandy? Open the door, Sandy. Sandy, open the door. What is this? This is unacceptable. Doesn't that feel great? No. No. That no. That doesn't. She doesn't have. She now has no clothes. She should be naked. Naked. Get naked. Insecure. Oh, she's gonna beat her with that. No wire hangers, Freddy. I'm not sort of holding this coat hanger back, back. Oh, very good. It's not just clothes, you know, it's, it's my history. Yes! Lang Despite clothes is the language of fashion. Fashion is the language of degree mirror. <gasps> this is some kind of a torture chamber. That has been its name in the past. I must have a different Why mirror. Why are they doing this? Can we look at the positive aspects? Oh, no, no, sure. We need yeah. to look at the positive okay. aspects. Okay. First of all, she aspects. looks like a demon, yeah. the Babadook. Daytime tweed, evening chiffon. Cellular. The baba cunt! Okay. Scraping the barrel. No, okay. that is not. Okay. 70% of women in England have it. You've got no line there at okay. all. You've no. got the smoothest skin oh. here. It's really clean. A bit touchy touchy. Yeah, can I just. Hello. Yeah. Oh, I am the baba oh. You need to put on a say something belt. Still got lots of good fat there. Right. So it's very soft and on the face. That's okay. great. Your tits could be. Greatly enhanced by the right bra. Lifted up. Yep. Yeah. Hoisted. Yes. Link Boy, she does have voice. quite a big yes. chest, doesn't yeah. she? They wear a ton. There's only to work out to be able to lift them up. <laughs> Do you know okay. what? Even standing here, yeah. virtually naked, you yeah. look a thousand times better than you did when you walked in in that hideous really? green jersey. Really? Mm -hmm. It wasn't a jersey, actually. I like this dress, and I still like it. I like the colour. It makes me feel young and frivolous. Sandy, or should I say exactly. Dolly? <laughs> Dolly Parton. I can't bear the colour. Just say Dolly Parton. I don't like the cut on you, mm -hmm. okay? I think I do see the tits straight away. I can't say anything because you will never speak to me again if I do. For what to say. Oh. I can't believe I've actually... walked out in public. Because <laughs> 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 they're, they're sort of... They're disgusting, aren't they? I do like this fluffy jumper, but... It is a nice jumper. Doesn't it make me look... Um, what do I look like in it? A snowball? <laughs> you look like a womble. I don't get why, they're like, they're just like a womble. The thing is, those two are like... Like bullying school children being like, ah, ha, 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 like ah, just ah, laughing ah, at her. Because ah. the like, thing is, also, we don't know this woman's background. We don't know how much money she makes. We don't know, like, if she's from a family of nobility or anything. But yeah. she is literally being laughed at by two wealthy celebrity style journalists on TV. Sometimes people don't have the luxury to spend money on clothes in a way that can be just so frivolous as what they've done, which yeah. is to throw her entire wardrobe out and buy a new one. Yeah. It's a bit alarming, really. I do agree that she maybe like a 
a pushing up more, almost maybe a slight compressing bra would be a great thing but like this jumper is not hideous I if this jumper was in black I would wear it yeah it looks so cozy and comfy and nice and warm and my little dash on biscuit would love it if I had one <laughs> It's not that funny. She's just laughing at the way she looks. It's not helpful. I mean, I don't like the trousers, but like to laugh at her when she's wearing like. You're not. The thing is, it's very different if we were going out and we were like, we're best friends and like we can take the piss out of each other. Okay, but you were just complete strangers to this woman. Like, look at you, like wiping tears away from her eyes. It's so funny. Like it's not the same. Painful. Come on, Sandy. So Sandy, we have let go of your past. Wouldn't you agree? Very much so. That empty rail was rather tragic. Mm. Very painful. Painful, mm. very painful. Is that now, a denim dress? I want to say one thing. I actually feel a lot of compassion for this woman because, as you know, I am very attached to 2000s. Yes, exactly. So, like, when she's like, you can't wear anything with the past, move on! I'm like... You. you would have a breakdown. I you would, would have an actual breakdown. For a second there, I thought you were going to be like, now I am very attached to my large breasts. Yeah, yeah. I've really got breasts. I've got breasts. But... Yeah. What a clean slate you can start with. Yeah. We want to get you organised into a suit. Because you are Why really she good. Say, organized. Into a suit. <laughs> a suit? Now the thing is... Oh, look at this face. Oh, okay. Lovely. Gabe. See, the thing about this show is that when they are always... They're always trying to get them to dress in this, like, very business-friendly way. There's no fun and frivolity about it. They're very, like, evening tweed. Daytime chiffon, mm -hmm. back to front girls. It's the same as what we saw, I don't know when, I don't know when the, 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 the Vicar episode actually aired. I don't know what season it was in, but like, it's the same, they're gonna, it's gonna be like the same format all the way through, yeah, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Tailoring, right? The tailoring does. Tough fabrics that hold it in, but show off your curves. So oh, your yeah, jacket you're gonna be is very So uncomfortable. Fitted. I hate that yeah. And little gatherings on the shirt, very mm -hmm. good to just conceal tummy and tits and make them- no! Oh, gathering draws attention. That's why it's called ruching. Rouche what, Liette? Back to front, girls. Her breasts are gonna pull those out so flat that it's just literally gonna look like she's wrinkled here and, and underneath. Then, yeah, yeah, exactly. Gonna, yeah. Everyone's gonna be like, look at your wrinkled breast. I don't know if you have aspirations to be Marilyn Monroe, but we feel you can become Marilyn right. from time okay. to time. So again, keeping so, things what's very happening? fitted. Cosplay. Mm -hmm. You've got it's the option. Sort of hourglass, isn't it? Very yeah. hourglass, and that's what we gotta show off. Mm. So you've got the bosoms peeking mm. out here. Is oh, that so she, she has literally said, I don't want that. I don't want my tits showing. And she's like, well, she's you've, like got, you've got to wear this. You've got your bosom showing. Bosom. Which means that it's going to hang from your tummy straight, straight down, down rather than go underneath and yeah. show it off. Yeah. I think now it's like, you've got 2,000 pounds. Yeah. So you can really indulge yourself. I will. I'm looking forward to it, actually. Mm. It's like... Okay. You don't... I don't believe you, but okay. Leave me to the shops. <laughs> Yesterday I brought up a lot of stuff. What is this there. lighting? Not just in terms of the way I look. I've cried. I've cried and I've cried and I've cried and I've cried. Thanks, for Trinity Zanna. Thanks life. for traumatising this woman. I've cried for my marriage. I've cried, you know, for the me I once was. Again, they've not asked her what her favourite thing is in her wardrobe, what her favourite style is, what her favourite colour or print or anything is. They've just gone, this is all wrong. You need to do as we say. And as I said, the conversation about your marriage is not... You are not therapists. No. You, you're, not, you, are, like, you are not marriage therapists. You are not... Like, you should not be having this conversation on TV. Absolutely. Like, this is... this is If you if, if you want to talk about it, that's her family's business. Like, yeah. that's not, that was completely irrelevant to the show. It, absolutely. Completely agree. Yes. Yeah. The man my husband was, he's managing to let go of the past and move on and I've really got to do the same. Right, I'm here at Rigby and Pella to get a girl. Oh, he's the camera lens, Jesus. Oh. Sadie's first shopping day. Mm. The back of your bra and the front of your bra should be in one line. Your bra is up here. You are right. clinging onto your breasts with your shoulders. <laughs> Lean right. forward into that. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now come on, let me have a look. That immediately feels better. Well, of course it will. <laughs> I'm 34 H. I mean, what does H stand for? Horrendous? No! Huge? <laughs> Heavy? It is kind of funny though, isn't it? That like, nowadays, women kill for massive boobs. Massive boobs and massive bums. And in this day and age, it was like, make everything small, like child. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Faith girls. Oh my god, emo! Oh, what a hateful shoe. Don't they make my legs look sensational? I think they do. I think they're great. Like this outfit that she's wearing. What is she like? I want Trini to tell me really what, what is, is wrong, wrong with what she's wearing. What is now? wrong with this outfit? What is wrong with it? She's got a lovely jacket on. Yeah, she could use with a nice. Nice. She could do with a nicer bra. But like, I love a turtleneck. I don't think it's this bad demons that they're making it out to be. 
That's a dangerous game. Yeah. Eaten by an escalator. Yeah. I think these are lovely. I love the, the kind of, you know, they're kind of... Are we going to have a scene where they're like, no, no, it's all wrong, beat her. A woman's shape again. I think this outfit's a winner. If I was to uh, walk into my class, for instance, looking like this, I think I'd immediately uh, conjure up a level more respect for my students than perhaps I do... Or I really? Why? I think a turtleneck commands more respect. I did. Sandy's already oh, spent eight hundred pounds on a social shopping day, but I'm not she's sure into puppy play. she's following our strict rules. She's a dog so, bowl. We've come to secretly spy on her to see if she's changed her. her ways and learn what switch. Oh, so which girl switch? She so they're like secretly spy on her, but there's a whole camera crew following her around shopping for the day. But they're like, she can't see us, girl. It's, it's stupid. just an aim. But it's also, camera. it's also this whole thing. Like I don't understand where you're like, we're gonna like let you do it, but then we're gonna like slut it, slut, slutty. We're, we're gonna, gonna slut like, it. We're gonna like come and attack every choice that you've made. So That's just do the it only for reason. her. Just do it for her. Exactly. Anything Take her for out. ridicule. Yeah, anything's for extra ridicule. It doesn't like. feel like they're teaching in this. It feels like they're like, we're gonna tell you to do something, and if you fail, we're gonna ridicule you. Yeah, for yeah. It. That's exactly what it is. It's her best. Warehouse. It's so me. It is so me. You know, leather skin could work. They're on a Game Boy Advance. Yeah. Internet looks dire. Oh, Advance no, Wars girls. No. Go. Go. Ne Stand next up, there'll be Nintendo dogs. Those t-shirts. You've been listening to a word. <laughs> we, we knew they'd. Why would we? Yeah, why would we listen to words you say? Susanna, she needs to be rescued. Susanna, she needs to be rescued. Quickly, grab my handbag. Let's go and beat her to death. Susanna. <laughs> oh, what a surprise. Look at that boom, Mike. You would never see the crew. Also, you would literally never see the you'd crew. You would never now. see them, but also they've just walked into this public dressing room like, hello, Sandy. Like, of course yeah. she knows. Because, yeah. Do you imagine if you had, like, your tit out halfway through, it got getting changed, and these uh, Trini and Susanna burst in, like, yeah. give you an interview about your breath. Come look at our titties, girl. No, that's gotta be a joke. Oh. Why? What are you going to do little ankle boots with it? Yeah. Just to finish it off. Yeah. Why should have been? That was disgusting. <laughs> what? She, you I can't Ed, believe Ed I can't believe this is the person who's given you style Fashion advice. advice. Like, what are you doing? Literally, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. These are Britney's jeans, aren't they? Britney's jeans. I mean, they are Britney's jeans. She's free. Yeah, yes, those, but, but you know, these are very fashionable now. Well, when you're wearing these glitter jeans. Yeah, do you know jeans. what? They oh, are amazing. Jeans with a bejazzle. They're 55. <gasps> She's got the belts of the damned on oh her back. Oh my god. What is Trini wearing a trench coat and a beanie for? She. I, 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 I can't believe this is the person coming in saying, you cannot wear this. You should not be wearing what you're what wearing. What is wrong with this? top that she has on. Tell me. Tell where, me. where is it wrong? Unacceptable. And yeah. they are like the sort of Dolce & Gabbana ones. They are incredible. Trini's yeah. cosplaying oh, a sorcerer. Daughter, sweetheart, not only you. Okay. Can we just go and um, find some things that we think might suit you? Because I think you have successfully chosen yeah. The worst things in this story. Oh, for God. She yeah. does this. She builds them up and knocks yeah. them down. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're looking very good. I'm yeah. glad you brought an extra chin to the occasion. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's such a hateful way to speak to people. Yeah. Oh, I love the leopard print, actually. Darling, darling. Oh, it's very nice. That is very nice. I love this. Yeah. It's showing off your figure. It's not making you look top heavy. No, it's no it's personality, though. It's beige. Beige, beige. Yeah. flaring exactly. out at the bottom. The shape of the trousers. But it's good you're not seeing... The whole no, I can't get over her outfit. It's she's like, disgusting. And she's like, yeah, you're awful. Oh, she's took off a hat now. Oh, good. Release the beast. Yeah, Flat hair. Let's just see this. Okay, the top. I think it'd be very good without a busy skirt because this yeah. is making it busy. Yeah. But that's very good. A for busy you, because skirt. You don't know where your folds are fat on. Ladies and gentlemen, avoid busy skirts. Yeah, I like this. Jigsaw girls! You know, this should be a really good shot for her. Classic Time team. for the saw! Back on the oh. Nintendo! <laughs> Nintendo Game Boy Advance SP! <laughs> oh, shriek. <laughs> are they having a seance? Yeah, they are, yeah. This is such a pretty green. I like this. But it's a polo neck. <sighs> Leather trousers? What's wrong with the leather trousers? I'm about to wear them out to dinner this evening. Oh, no. This is the time. You're right. It's the time to go. For God's sake, what was the point in doing going like, oh, stupid?
Can I just say, Susanna is wearing the 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 denim jean jacket yeah. thing we saw of that what? was on one of the mannequins. So yeah. clearly they're just like, oh, if she doesn't want oh, it, I'll yeah, have I'll it. Take oh. it yeah. Now come on. Oh, she's back in a beanie as well. What do we tell you? What do we throw out? Sandy? What is Trini wearing? It's actually like a nightmare yeah, piece. It's actually, yeah. yeah. Nightmare creatures go. Dead by daylight. Oh, no, okay. those, sorry, <laughs> did she just say those chins are spilling out a bit? Uh, Let's just listen to that again. We love to get on TV and body shame people. Yeah, she is. Slap her. Look at all this here. Yeah, I know. I know. Stop touching her. She's like, oh, all these chins and breasts. Oh, like so. I know. Yeah. Only fans. Okay. Okay. Why should become a clock now? Trini's at it again, girls. What's that in there? Come on, Sandy. Oh, God, right. What did she say? What's that in there? Have you got a wee in there? Did she say have you got a wee in there? Yeah. What's that in there? A willy! Have you got a willy in there? Oh, Trini. Um, can I tell you something? I think she thinks she's going to buy that polar neck. Of course she does. I think they're wrong about the polar neck. Yeah, I, yeah. I do. I stick Agree. by what I say about my polar neck. Agree. The polar neck is just... The problem is, is what I, what I think about this as well, is what I think we said in the last one, is like, this woman has, has like... She doesn't hate the way that she looks. She's not someone who's like, I need to start. Like, the, the, it would have been this very. Show, it, yeah. It's very different if she herself was like, Help would, me, girl. Yeah, I would like a style overhaul. I feel like I need help. She was very happy the way that she was. And even though she's fine, she's like, I like this. I want this. And like, it's. And they're it's, like, No, you can't have it. It does feel predatory. And it feels mm. like you're taking away someone's consent. And like, it's, this, it's a very different show if the person was to be like, I want to do this. She clearly doesn't want to be here. Absolutely. And it's just. It's, just, it's awful. I don't like it. It's really crazy. Cringe to watch. Cringe girl. Cringe. Theme of the day. Yeah. But the polar neck is just a that is sticking point. I know, and it's a failure on our. So then pick a one it. that's good for her. Oh, stupid. It's so much better. Isn't it wonderful? This is the same outfit they put her in earlier. Also, the those trousers too long. are yeah, way too, way too well. Hateful shoe. Wait, 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 wait. She's going into Marks and Spencer. On the one that we watched, they were like, never shop in Marks and Spencer, girl. Can I have a pair of these jeans? I mean, you know, I'm going to get a pair of glitzy jeans. Yeah, yeah go, go for it, girl. Oh, you can't. Oh, oh yeah. she is again. Okay, okay. Now, it's like they're stalking her. Now, let me put a word forward for Brittany jeans. Okay. Yes, do that. Number one, I love them. That's the main Number thing. Number two, everybody in Romford, Essex, has got a pair of Britney jeans. Mm -hmm. So why can't I have a pair too? I've got to say, I think they're I okay. Think they're okay. Yeah. You know what, this leather jacket. Oh, they've think, changed their tune, yeah, haven't they? I want to go. Do you? Yeah, I do. I just why is it? Why are they always just trying to make her like suffocate in her own clothes? I don't know, they're, 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 they're like, like, we need bosoms, and they're bosoms. Also, like hands on. They're like, it, he's like, stop touching yeah, me. Literally, you could be like, why don't you just pull that tighter and see how it looks instead yeah. of being like, like this, go like this. It's a bit much, isn't it? It, um, Mr. Garbage Collector. I feel each step she is getting closer. Trini, yes. you're in a beanie in a dog top with a bloody trench coat with the chains of the damned Meet attached to it. Tin beans on the street. God, she's awful. Isn't she's she? now got the shapes right. Mm -hmm. And Sorry, they just fucked or something. She's off on one, girl. You know when they're like, oh, we still got to think yeah. about that poor woman and her yeah. hateful turtle. Mysterious lesbian. We seem to be reaching a point that we're all agreeing on. I don't it's agree. Are they going to make a change of hair, do you think? Did it look like that awful woman everything. before? Mm -hmm. So the next time you go in, that bit has been sorted. Two a dream days later, Sandy earring. returns to our office. It's bye bye, Agnetta, and hello, the new oh, Sandy. Oh, they've made it look so old. Oh, 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 no. That, is, that looks like a wig. It, uh, Lorraine Kelly. Oh. The way they've done her makeup has made her eyes completely disappear. Yeah. This is bad. This is bad. That he that, no. The like one thing I can say is all right is the lip color. The lip color is quite nice. They haven't put a lot of shine on her face, which is perfect. But this hair has aged her. Yeah. It's taken away a style and made her look instantly 20 years older and yeah. a lot less refined. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, just look infinitely. at you. She's got a naughty confidence. I hate her hair. She's got a naughty she's confidence. Really I really know I disagree. Incredible. Well, I think it's funny. They made this whole comment about, like, you wearing jeans that are made for children, yet they've put her in a choker. Yeah, weird, isn't it? She looks like a, a person trying to look younger now. Yeah. Rather than the way she was before. Because, it, it, oh, no, 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 no. This is the thing. I think if you have a genuine style, it can look timeless no matter what you look like. Like, if she had this hair with the shoulder pads and, you know, like, the, the detail on the, the, the lapels, it might, I might be like, thinking something different but like this literally looks very aged yeah aged safe regional bbc presenter stupid well before i felt like a fat blob basically no you and didn't no tall elegant gorgeous this hair is not elegant about you is different your posture your yeah. demeanor the expression on your face because you're scheduled to touch her again yeah just I mean, forward there's no they... stomach there Gosh. anymore you're just felt that colour is amazing. Can we talk about the hair? Well, I showed a picture how I wanted it, mm. and he said, yeah, 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 and... Not listening to a And word. he wasn't listening to a yeah. <laughs> What was the picture? What was on the picture? They gave so, her a haircut she didn't want. So took away her consent. Wonderful. Took away her consent. If I went to a hairdresser and I was like, I want to, I want to look like this, and they just shaved my head, I'd be like, I, Welcome to my hair. I'm Mr. going Luxaria. to murder you. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely awful. It was kind of how mine was, but just a bit shorter. And uh, all of a sudden, I had cheekbones. And I had a forehead. <laughs> <laughs> I would not have believed a hairstyle and the right underwear and the right clothes could could actually make you feel different mm. inside but I do feel different yeah. inside mm. and I realised that, that for years and years I've been hiding so I feel quite emotional <laughs> I don't know if I would I don't know if I get like a genuine feeling from her I know she's just about to get emotional now but I don't know if it's emotion from the improve the, the so called improvement or emotional from like being forced to change do yeah. you know what I mean Yeah. I feel like there's nothing left of her previous style the thing is no, nothing that's <laughs> happened in the show is like a genuine kind of like we're going to take you on a journey to improve you this is like it's very because it was so intense and so like hateful and your chins are coming out yes like it's very much like you've got a willy I've been sort of like bullied to throw this down, way yeah. rather than this is a nice moment where I have learned about myself absolutely it, agree absolutely agree <laughs> it's Should like have a look in the mirror oh, oh god, god. <laughs> <laughs> let's have a just see it okay. and the blouse okay. is 30 yeah, quid yeah. the whole thing is about you're wearing too much bold and bright colours and, and they put, put her in, in bright red they put in red oh, okay. oh. oh wow oh wow <laughs> 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 oh yeah! Oh gosh, because because mm. he's restyled my hair again this morning, so I've not actually seen yeah. it all restyled. I love myself. Oh, yeah. I, really <laughs> I hope that's genuine. <laughs> yeah. It kind of feels like it might be a bit now, actually. Sorry. This bloody suit. <laughs> to just put her in the same <laughs> outfit, just in different, slightly different colours. Look at you, you strumpet, even oh, in a suit. Such a strumpet, and this <laughs> suit isn't it incredible? Yeah. Can I just uh, let me just undo That's it? A strong oh, there we go. Touch it again. Oh, Get your boobies out. A good shape on you. The shortness of the jacket, in yeah. particular, yeah. is the perfect length. First, because it's it was. I really want to pull this in. Now, open it up. Yeah. yeah. Tummy there, yeah. So it's yeah. disguising it. Totally you don't need to touch her. You have doing that. the perfect bum to wear a jacket. Yeah. That cuts right across. You have the perfect bum to wear a jacket. The perfect bum evening jacket. Absolutely. Smart. Hard. Absolutely. Yeah. Sorry. You this, don't this, need to touch her. You don't. And also, this top that she's wearing is thirty-five pounds. This basic blue top is thirty-five pounds. Disco. I love this. Oh, she's so cocky. She's cocky. She is cocky. So this <laughs> actually does look like the most style of her. The yeah. I pull the face because its patterns aren't for me, but. If we look back to how she was in the beginning, where she liked these like bright colours with the pussy bow tie that had like a little bit of like pattern on it, this is the most like her. The, the fact closest, that she had to yeah. argue so much to get this one pair of jeans, but it is just goes it just goes to show as well, like they're making an, an issue for no reason when they've styled this okay. Yeah, exactly. So the stuff that she wants, she could have actually had and just styled it differently. Exactly, or stuck, like exactly. As as we've said before, and as I constantly say in my videos, there's always a way to refine your style, whatever that way may be. Yeah. When you think back, yeah, to that outfit with yeah. the bolero jacket, oh, which you would yes. normally wear when you would go disco dancing. Yes. And, and the tucked in black uh, trousers oh, into no, those no, beige no. boots. Please don't even go. <laughs> Oh, there we go, there we go. How do you feel when we remind you of those moments? 
Very like careless. I want to slap you, so Trini. So are you ready to get rid of anything else in your past? It's like she's going to yeah, eat I her. Think I she's like am. unhinging her jaw. Really and yeah, truly. I think I probably am. I don't need to hide behind the rings anymore. So they're off. Oh, you're right. Okay, yeah, I, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Giving it to them. Yeah, they, they, they're so mugging you. <laughs> it's the past. This is how they paint the clothing. Yeah. 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 Like this is so sort of... So, oh. Again, this is not a TV This is not really a TV moment. This is not a TV moment. And it feels good. Okay. It feels good. Mm. That's not anything to hide. That is yeah. so funny. It's amazing that you've done that. Oh, I think that's so funny. She needed a friend there. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't cuddle them. So They'll get in your soul. Stuff. They'll eat you. And I've got you both to thank for that. And oh, I, yeah, you've I got I your still... own courage to get you there. Yeah. I still think you're beastly. You know, yes! Yes! <laughs> beastly women. You know what, Sue? That red Zara outfit really made Sandy look tall and willowy. 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 She bought that black jacket by herself. It's tailored, three button, and exactly the right length. Are they on cat? Tailoring really works for Sandy. <laughs> yeah, that beige suit beige. and the ankle boots, boots. They'll stand out in any meeting. This this ankle boot. And the ankle boots. They'll stand out in any meeting. This ankle boot is gonna stand out in any meeting. Yeah, do you know why? Because it's a corduroy. Be like, you can't go outside in that. We covered in immediate filth. I hate it. It's disgusting. <laughs> they just put her new wardrobe on the floor. <laughs> in a way, I'd like to go through the whole thing. Oh, look! Again. No, She's got a roll neck. No, I wouldn't. No. Back, Suzanne and Trini, back. Looking forward to to uh, to the future. I feel very, very positive. Very well, positive. Well, everything that's all yeah. not And there. also, she styled the hair in the way that she used to have it. Yeah. Perfect. Um, my new life. They're going to be like, here. another I'm success, sure. Trini. And our cameras are still following her. She's at the stable. She can't be going wrong. Mm -hmm. This is what makes Sandy great, is this kind of madness. She's so in love with her new clothes that she's wearing them riding. She's knee deep in mud. And it's probably because she doesn't care about them. She's yeah, like, yeah, 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 they don't become my muck, 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 muck around clothes. She's them in two minutes. Oh, shame. School. Class eagerly awaiting her. That's great, that's all. She's got what she's got underneath. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, that suit's not yeah, painful. Good. Good. It's good colours yes. together. We didn't suggest that ever. She'd done that entirely on her own. Oh, it's almost like oh, she has her own mind. Yeah. It's almost like she's a real human. Yeah. Oh, look at how like mid 2000s that is. That hairstyle, short, short hair yeah. with a. I was dumbstruck when she came in. She looks so fantastic. I love the neck that you can see now. It's it's made her ten years younger, really, if not more. Oh, let's not talk about ten years younger. Oh, do I go? Nikki Hamilton Jones. It's because you're really flat chested. It actually makes you look open for business. Coming soon on the serious channel. Confidence, because now she walks around and she's proud. I don't know whether they like name them. Yeah, they're just like friend and daughter. At ease and happy with the way she looks. The transformation is trance. Trance. She's in a trance. dramatic. It's two totally different people. Now I see her as somebody with. This kind of renewed spirit who has got a new lease on somebody it. Somebody needs to tell Trini to leave off the highlighter. Yep. There is not a spot on her face that is not covered in highlight. And there's light in her eyes. I have found parts of it very painful. I think change is a painful process. I've cried for, for my past life. I've cried for my marriage. I've They're cried. really driving this yeah, home, aren't they? Yeah. Watch her cry. Your worst faults are exposed, not only to you, but, exposed. you know, to, to people that w will be watching the programme. Yeah. Um, I think it needs an awful lot of courage, and I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually quite proud of myself that I've that I've shown the courage to do it. So I actually really like what they did with her makeup here. You can see she's wearing brown mascara and a brown shadow. That actually works really well with her blue eyes because it makes it kind of like this eye pop contrast. It makes them pop. Now, personally, she had like a bright blue liner and a blue mascara before. I actually don't mind coloured mascara. I think it's a very specific stylistic choice. Yeah. But um, if you love it, do what you love. There are no rules. There are guidelines, but you can blend them. It's fine. <laughs> disco, disco girls. I've got scouts. Scouts. Oh, she's right like a woman present oh. with all trinny girls well my lovelies um we're gonna push the laptop away from us there and just kind of like have a little digest about what we've uh, seen uh, today. Di readers digest readers digest the daily fail girls so i actually want to kind of drive home that 
Don't ever change your style for someone else. No. Only ever refine it because you want to do it. Yeah. yeah None of this show seemed uplifting, rebuilding, yeah. confidence boosting. Yeah. It was just hateful. And any of the positive things that Sandy said, I kind of feel like she was kind of like coerced Goated into to it. say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think I think one of the biggest things I was like, if if you do something that makes you really happy and you don't have a problem with it, you don't need to change it. Exactly. Like, there's no need to change it. If you are very happy with who you are. Who cares what other people think? Exactly. And the thing about it is, is that I know that I'm not a great fan of colour, but clearly she was a huge fan of like colour and brightness. And we need more people that are more colourful and more bright in the world. Because imagine if all the mosaic pieces and a mosaic were the same colour, girl. It would just be a sheet of paper. And with that, my love. And loves, with that, my love. We've got gout. We've got gout. You can see, you can see Patreon, Patreon somewhere, somewhere, on, somewhere the on the screen. It's here. happening now, girls. Oh, well, let me select my Twitch girl. Oh. Today's Twitch shout out goes to Moth Waker. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, you stunning women on the go. And if you want to be in with a chance of being featured in my next videos, Twitch shout out, make sure you follow me on Twitch. It is Luxaria Plays and I stream two nights a week, Monday and Thursday, my love. See you over there. Hashtag, I've got gout. So much gout. Look at my gout. It's on the spouts. Oh my God. Gout. And a huge thank you to my top tier Patreons. Kelly Loom, Stephanie Niatupski, Laura Alley, Steffi Tech, Casey Donahue, Trevor Fault, Ryan Vita, Elizabeth Stone, Celine Yates, Lane Wade, Caitlin Coating, Min Min TM, Caitlin Right, Jenny Hendricks, Abigail Ash, Crafty Leaks, Mariah Sherman, Sexy Texy RN, Amanda Bibby, ContraPoints, Victoria Waldock, Sucky Bus Lena, Shell Herman, Jodia, Jared Pavlovsky, Jevod, Orko Samoji, Moldy Apple, Victoria Carella, Megan Holly, Dana Broderick, Moisten 98, Zaya Nazar, Danielle, and a gorgeous hello and welcome to Andy Henry and Romano. And with that, my loves, I will see you in the next video. Do you know what? Yeah. Should we go get an evening tweet? Yeah. See you later. Bye.